Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of our Darkest Dungeon playthrough. Today we have got Bleed the Occultist, Pip the Jester, Mary the Hellion, and Estella the Leper. Let's go ahead and make our way through the Darkest Dungeon. We're actually not in the Darkest Dungeon, not quite yet. That hasn't been released into this game yet, but you get the idea, you get the idea. Uh, today we're going to be doing a short run, so no campfires. I did bring 12 food, it's better safe than sorry. Uh, we also brought a key, which we can use right now. Yay! Locked display cabinet. You can also use a shovel, I believe, uh, but you destroy some of the... Uh, you, de you destroy some of the stuff that's in there when you use a shovel. So, you know, you need to be careful about using a shovel. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> if you're going to use a shovel, realize you're going to destroy some things. So we need to explore 90% of the room, so I'm going to go ahead and head this way. We do have a trap right here. Let's see who's best at the trap. He's got 0% chance, 20% chance for her, 30 for him, and 10 for him. So we're going to go ahead and use Pip. Pip's got the best chance to disarm this without blowing himself up. There you go, Pip. Oh, Pip, I'm so impressed with you. Pip, I'm so impressed with you. The one thing I'm not so sure about with this particular lineup here is that um, this uh, our guy in the front... Oh, what are you doing? You're a Warren's Explorer. The guy in the front, Estella, the leper, he cannot do, be anything but the front two positions. He's got no... I checked his full range of ability. He's got no <laughs> effectiveness in anywhere but the front. So we got to just hope we're not too, too surprised. Lucky for us, though, not a lot of fights in this dungeon. Holy moly. Good thing I brought extra food, though, because apparently we are eating a bunch. Not a lot of fights here to be seen. We got a nice early scout, lucky for us. But uh, check this out. We got one fight here. And then that's it, unless there's something in these two rooms, because we're not going to need to search this room. We only need to search 90%. Although, given that this is a small dungeon, um, I figured because we're doing no, no torch runs early on, so no torch runs in general, I've had huge success in my main save. Like, it's, I've got like over 300,000 gold. I've got m numerous parties of uh, level 6 characters. Like, it's working very, very well. I'm basically done the game in one of my saves. Uh, but we're playing through this. This is for fun. This is to just see what we can do. Wow, there's like no fights whatsoever. Um, but I do feel like early on, I, I've talked about this in the past with the No Torch crit runs, and the idea is that, oh, we actually got a few more fights than I anticipated here. Okay. The idea is that the gear and the level helps a lot. So prior to having gear and being leveled up, it's sort of like, you know, as you saw in the last video, it, it cannot go so hot. On occasion. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sm miss them all. Apparently, <laughs> let's pull him forward so we can blow him up sooner. You get up here. I don't want you tempting me with your goblets. I don't want you tempting me with your goblets. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's uh, dirk him. Can we dirk him? Let's dirk him. How's that feel, huh? Not so good. And then we're gonna hew. <laughs> what is up with the misses? What are you doing? You're missing everything. You're getting knifed in the dark now. How do you feel about that? Probably not so hot. There we go. There's a dirk to the face. Pip coming through. Coming through. Yeah, okay. There's the hue that I've been looking for. And I uh, hue haven't found what I'm looking. I used to listen to a lot of you too. I don't listen. To, I don't listen to music as nearly as much as I did as a young man. Um, let's heal up. He's got a lot of bleed though. I don't want to stack even more bleed on that. Hopefully he was. Damn it, all to hell. Now he's got four bleed for three rounds. Do I have a... No, I don't. All right, I want you to kill him. Thank you much. Thank you much, Miss... Miss Mary. Miss Mary the Hellion. And then we're going to dirk him. See you later. All right, so this poor chap, he's in a lot of trouble. He's going to be bleeding a whole bunch. He's got, a, he's got a quite a loss of life. Luckily, he's got a nice, uh, healthy base life. Very high, actually. 33.3. Um, do I just go right? I could just go right and completely ignore this. I know it's like, oh, but Force, what about the fights? Why don't you want to do the fights? Yeah, you know what? We're not even close to filling up. Let's do it. We're going to go. We're going to do the fights. It's, it's stupid. Why, why go into a dungeon if you're not going to engage in some good old healthy combat? It's an excellent question. Let's see who we get here. A bunch of skeletons. No, um... The good thing about this group is there's no stress uh, increasers unless they get crits on us. Of course, then that, that raises our stress. But he can do a self-heal. We can also get him um, plus accuracy. What's the accuracy of his hue? It's not great. It's 65%. It's, it's, so is a single target hit, though, that, which that sucks. Let's heal. I'm actually going to use this opportunity to heal him up. Look at that. There you go. Plus four heals. Excellent. All right. Blow him up. There's two across the board. It's something. Something's better than nothing. Something's better than nothing. 
I learned that. Nope, don't leave Pip alone. Pip is one of the characters I plan on keeping, so this is not good right now. Uh, you smack him. Oh, oh, oh Pip coming through. Uh, so clutch, Pip. All right, let's get Pip healed up here. You son of an Oculus. I even leveled up your damn heals. He's got a range of 0 to 12 now, and he refused to get either anything. I wanted anything but 0, and of course he hits 0. That's about as bad as it gets. Look at that hue. Okay, just leave Pip alone, please. We need Pip to survive here. Leave Pip alone. Is it there? One. You're killing me, man. You're, kill you're absolutely killing me. And you're letting the team down. Dirk him. All right. No, 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 no. No! Damn it. Pip. This is not good for you. Pip, this is not good for you. You need to consume some food, I think. Both of these guys do. I need to leave at least four, though. Oh, my goodness. Should I just go back? This is a fight. Well, if I do this one fight, then we only have one more fight remaining. Because this is an empty room. I just hope I don't lose Pip. That's the only thing I really care about. I just don't want to lose Pip here. Okay. Uh, oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Those skeletons in the background really hurt. I need to heal, I need to heal these guys up, though. I, okay, thank you. That's good. All right. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Here it comes. Okay, six not bad. Six is not bad. Could be worse. Oh, no. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, no. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly... That's the type of worse that I was talking about. Uh, shoot. I, I really needed to heal. I could have also pulled one of them forward, but I really needed to heal. Please kill him. Oh, how is that not enough to kill him? Holy moly. He's way too much health. We got a crit and it's not even enough. Okay, I need... Uh, I really need... Uh, Oh gosh, I really need Mary to come through here. Please don't kill Mary. I need her to come through here. She needs to do business. N no, he is still alive. Oh gosh. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Uh, finish off the archer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Pip, I love you. Seriously, bro. No, no. Okay, he's fine. Death doors doesn't matter. Graveyard slash. He did the slash. He did the graveyard slash. Uh, oh no. No, you. I feel like it's a person who let me down. I'm like, no, Hugh! Hugh, you let me down! Hugh, why? Why, Hugh, why? Gasp, I know, it's a scary time. Uh, let's heal him up. For three! Let's see, at least it got him off death's door, I guess. And then you, Dirk this guy. Thank you much. Good old Pip is sitting high, in, high on the hog here with his health. Everyone else is, like, struggling. Bayonetta jab, don't you? No. <laughs> okay. Come on, seven. That's all right. And then uh, let's heal him up. Heal him up. Tate, yes. And then you do it again. There you go. Awesome. Awesome. Trifling victory. It was not trifling. Victory, nonetheless. Okay, I guess it was a little trifling. I can't use any food because if we get if we hit hunger, we're done for. Um, so we only have one more fight, and it's a it's a hallway fight instead of a room fight. Hallway fights tend to be easier. I don't want to use up my food though. If I hit hunger in that hallway, I'm screwed. So I can't use my food. So I actually need to keep my occultus on death's door. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. How many people? It's four. Okay. Ugh, I don't like that. We need to get lucky here. Okay, we need we no 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 Pat. Why'd you he passed? Maybe because he's all in the back and he can't. No, you, oh, you. Uh. All right, we gotta. Uh, this guy's got less health. Seriously, Pip, what are you doing? All right, let's heal up him. I don't think anyone's gonna be hitting my occultist. I think he's actually nice and safe back there. I don't think these guys can hit him. In fact, I'm fairly certain they can't. Okay, there you go. Mix it up. Hit whoever as long as you're not killing one of these guys. There you go. Bump in the night. Not much damage. Don't hit dust door. You hit dust door. What did I just tell you? Are you deaf? What are you, what are you doing? Round two. Here we go. Um, 
Alright, can you hit this time? Yes, sir, Bob. Good work. Good work. Alright, heal her up. Thank you. We're gonna, we got this. We, we are here. We are ready to rock. Alright, there you go. I, no, 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 no. Oh, Graveyard Slash? Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. What's this one? Nope. Nope. Don't you do it. Don't. No. Everyone calm down. Calm down. Calm down. We're fine. Calm down. We have Oh, God. No. No, 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 uh, no. no. We had three people at death's door. Guys. No, no. She's freaking out. She's freaking out. Come on, Mary. Come through for me. Come through. No, honey. Abusive. What are you doing? Don't be so rude. Uh, I don't know why you have to be so rude. At least smash their faces. Yes, you can be as rude as you want. If you keep that up. I don't care. Yeah, seriously. Seriously, be as rude as you want. That's a, that's astounding. You're at death's door. What's How are you doing? Oh, gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, we did it. We did it. We even got a freaking little Gemaru. Um, I am going to go into the confession booth with someone who has low... This guy had, doesn't have too much to worry about. He doesn't have too many sins to confess. No, what are you talking about? He had one sin. How is that making him upset? Alright, this should do it. We should have this. We should be a winner. We are a winner. Oh god. With everyone at death's door. What is this last room? It's a treasure room. That means people. But we do have a treasure chest right here. Let's just check this. Crate is empty. Okay, well that's enough. I don't need to uh, progress any further. We are... Dungeon is over. See you later. <laughs> the shifted corridors and sloped walls oh gosh. Alright, so we got a handful of uh, gold here. Ended up coming through with oh, oh, about 9,000. Close to 9,000. Got ourselves some wonderful, wonderful, great, great things there. We got a lot of stressed out heroes though. And that's no good. Well, having a lot of stressed out heroes is no good. Uh, we did have some people level up, though. I want to consider which one of these. Well, I'm absolutely keeping Mary, because uh, she's going to be in one of my final builds. Mary and Pip both, actually, are people who are going to be in my final thing. And we finally unlocked the wagon. Uh, that's actually not bad. I do know that uh, come the end of the day, that's something that we're not going to... Like, we're going to replace this big time but I might be worth I might I might consider purchasing it now the one thing I do want to make sure early on though is that we are upgrading the stagecoach as much as Paul oh gosh we need uh Shiza we need deeds I have no deeds I want to get the number of people that we get up as high as we can get it uh we're gonna get rid of him we're gonna get rid of him uh who are these we're not gonna keep Estella it was nice to know you Estella but you really kind of let me, you and Hugh let me down. Your Hugh let me down. That's, that's all I can say. And I don't know necessarily that I'm going to keep him. Let's take the, uh, let's take our Vestal here, Bredel. We'll take her on a mission. Uh, the bounty hunter is really good. And ooh, that's a nice lineup of skills. Although, actually, no, it doesn't have breakthrough. I need breakthrough. Well, I might purchase Breakthrough for her because I do plan to keep... Uh, Hellions are one of my uh, staples, basically. What I'm going for. Just having Flash and Daggers isn't great, and I don't want to spend money on her. Uh, these are some okay things. We got a pull, we got a knockback. We got Mark for Death, and we got Collect Bounty. What does he have? He has Hook and Slice. Uh, I don't know. I might like this one better the uppercut thing to knock knock someone back if need be that seems pretty decent so let's grab him yeah yeah let's grab him the thrill of the hunt. and the let's see what we want to do we're going to go out for another adventure i think we're going to go out for another short adventure we also have unlocked this this is allows us to purchase camping places. skills although we're going to stick to short stuff for right now I believe. Um, so I'm going to keep Pip and Mary. Uh, so for that reason, we are going to go ahead and get them uh, a man in a room rested up here. Claiming communion with the divine. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and get Mary in here. And can Pip go in here? He can. Okay. So, so yeah, I do spend I do spend currency on the heroes that I plan to keep for the long haul. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep Bleed or not. So I'll just keep him down there for now. 
And for our next dungeon run, I think we will take Bredel. Cur Curry. Cor Cor Corsi? Corsi. That's a cool name, actually. Corsi, Tilly, Bredel. And who else do I want to take on my next run? I guess we could take a front lineman here. Like this. I'm not... I don't know. When they get out of position, though, it's really bad. That's the only thing. Uh, and then I do... I wouldn't, wouldn't mind leveling up one of these guys either. So maybe I should take him instead of... Maybe I should take him instead of Tilly. Because I am trying to level up these guys for my crit build. So how's these four look? I think these four look pretty decent. This seems like a decent party. So let's go ahead and do that. And do I want to buy anything right now? Well, I do have these trinkets. Blight resist minus dodge. Uh, speed minus crit. I will give her speed minus crit. So she's likely to go earlier with a higher speed. Yeah, she should be going for Well, she'll be tied with uh, tied with Garin here for going first. And I don't think that second trinket I want to use because I don't want any of my frontline people to have less dodge. I don't even want her to have less dodge either. The blight resist isn't worth it. Okay, so that's a good thing here. And do I want to purchase any early trinkets? It's probably not worth it. I don't know. It's a lot of gold. So I'll save it for now until we get better trinkets. Because that trinket is just alright. Okay, so this is going to be our next party here. These four bros. And brosifs. And, and what do I call them? Broinas? I shouldn't... The bro shouldn't be in the word, right? They're ladies. Uh, <laughs> let's go on a 90% scouting mission here. With the torches... Again, with the torches runs early on, pre-leveling and pre-armor... Uh, the longer missions can be uh, a little hazardous. Go two of these, one key. Okay, so we're going to go this way, up and around, and then we'll have to backtrack through two hallways, but that minimizes the backtracking. Although, to be honest with you, we probably don't need to go all the way down. Uh, grave robbing, unless you have a purifier for it, don't do it. You're going to, like... I think it's like a 100% chance to get a negative effect or a debuff or something. But you can, uh, I think you can cleanse it with holy water or something? I don't remember. I gotta check that stuff up. You surprise, mother... F <laughs> surprise, mother... F uh, let's kill, uh... Let's kill this guy. There you go. There you go. Because we're gonna get a nice little... And I really like this a lot. We're gonna stun him. Take that. Because I think we're going to be able to kill him here with our... Oh, that's right. She doesn't have her multi-target hit. I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot that I took her without a multi-target hit. That's bad news bears. I really like having multi-target. Although, I guess for this particular makeup, we might as well go with a single-target elimination. Oh, that makes things really frustrating, though. They're going to keep replicating, so please kill. Thank you. And we're just going to keep having to go for the low health, tar the lower health target here. Get the stun on him. Uh, he could resist it, but he took a lot of damage. And we can finish him off. What's a higher chance to hit? This is it. So we're going to smack with that. And why don't we just stun this guy? This was an amazing first fight. These ectoplasms really aren't that troublesome. The, the biggest uh, sort of problem you can run into is... Uh, the biggest problem you can run into is the fact that they replicate. So you just have to... You just have to make sure you're not giving them too much opportunity, essentially. Hmm. Let me contemplate here. I think this actually is going to work out for me pretty well. Heirloom chest. Uh, you can put keys in heirloom chest. Doing so gives you a chance to unlock secret compartments. So that's a thing that you can do. Looks like there's nothing in this hallway. We do have a fight right here. And we are just going to go, since this is a 90% room, we're just going to go to this room. And then we're going to backtrack. Unless we scout that this room is empty and there's chests in between. That's something that we could do. But, uh, you know, again, with these torchless runs, they can be kind of hairy. So you have to sort of make decisions about what you want to do. And when you're opening stuff like that, look for people who have the highest resistances. So I should be opening that stuff probably, looks like with her. She's got 40, 40, 30, 30 for the blight, bleed, disease, and debuff. Yeah, so she is best for opening things that can apply debuffs, because she's got the best chance to resist that damage. Spiders have pretty high attack speeds, so until you've leveled up, they're going to be going first. In fact, even when you level up, once you get to the higher dungeons, they level up as well. So they're going to... Spiders and hounds, those things like to go first very often. That's a thing. Oh, gosh. Uh, Hellions are so good, I just don't even... 
Hellions are so good. Some may even say overpowered. Ooh, eight stress resist but less damage. Give that to her. She doesn't care so much about damage. She really doesn't. And the stress resist is nice to have. Uh, in fact, uh, later in, later on, once I'm going healerless with just the Jester, you know, nah, I don't want to backtrack too much, so let's go down. It's contemplating going up to that room, but the, the less you backtrack, the less chance you have to run into hunger, and, uh, you know, that having to use up food on hunger, you know, it's it's a thing to, to be concerned about. Okay, so she wants to open stuff like this, because this can give you, uh, like, disease debuff sort of thing. There's the hunger thing. Got eight more food, so we can hit two more of those. Probably won't get two more of those, so I'm actually going to use some food to heal him up. It's very unlikely that we'll get two more. Uh, some, somewhat of a chance we'll get one more. This is a tough makeup here. This is tough. These guys hurt, and this guy can really wreck your group. The brigand here. Uh, we have a chance to stun him. He does have 50% stun resist, or we could go with a group heal of one or two. Let's go with the chance to stun him. Get some damage on him, too. He resisted it, as expected, pretty much. Uh, so I'm just going to smack him in the face. I'm going to try to just get work him down as soon as possible. This guy really sucks, but I don't have any pull mechanics in this group right now. So he, we just we just are stuck with him, basically. And better chance to hit here, plus this applies a bleed, or has a chance to. Now, these guys aren't too resistant to bleeds, either, so there's a good chance those hit, obviously, as you just saw it did. Uh, and what do we got here for our damage... So a greater chance to crit, it's the same damage, the thing is Dirk Stab moves you forward, so same damage, greater chance to crit, crit plus a bleed means we obviously go with the slice off when we can. And uh, he's pretty low now. He's got a four tick bleed, so we only need to deal one more damage to him, and then we can just leave him be. So I'm going to drop this, this is going to hit two targets, him on the back side and then this guy, and that's fine. So now we don't need to touch this guy in the front anymore, um, although unfortunately... Unfortunately, our Crusader really has no choice but to hit him. I'll check his other abilities, though. He might have something else. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit here. Can you do anything else? Yeah, you can heal, too. Or you can go defensive mode. Why don't you heal? Heal for one for three. Why don't you heal up our uh, Jester there? Because, again, this guy's just going to die once it's his turn again. And you, I would actually like you. This is a good opportunity to smack this guy in the face. We could potentially kill him with this. We don't. He dodges it. There's the death to Mr. Brigand. Does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Does not dissuade the sharpened blade. And I don't actually... Let me have you go with the stun. I don't like this guy at all. Oh, gosh. The dodge chance. The dodge chance being greater. The dodge chance. Don't slice off. Ouch. Need to start healing with her because she can't take much more. Uh, 73% chance to hit. Good. Not quite enough damage, but hopefully we finish him off here. Uh, oh gosh, come on. Come on. Do this for me, please. Corsi. Corsi. Corsi, please. How much is this bleed? Do we have him? Two bleed, one health. We got him. We got him. So we're going to hit smack this guy now. Smack him. Front line. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And right, now we got a chance to heal. Um, go ahead and heal up our... You can't heal up our healer. You can only heal these two? Okay. Heal up him. Heal up the Jester. Good night, sweet prince. The greater the glory. Ah, nice. We got some of this food. Give it to her. And I'm hoping we don't have too many more fights going forward. This is why you bring extra shovels. Because if I ran into that right now without a shovel, that would be very bad. Basically. And there's some holy water. Okay, so I'm really hoping there's not a fight here. Okay, good. We only have two more rooms to go through. I think we can do this here. Okay, spiders. Spiders are okay. Um, they're bleed. They're uh, they're debuff. They're poison. De oh no, no. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. 73% um, chance for both of them. Same amount of health. Let's hit him. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. Well, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's the death blow! We have no more heals! Well, we do with uh, this guy, but they're really bad. 
Gosh, we are so close, though. I have to press on, I think. We are so close to the end of this. That sucks. He skips his turns. So that means we can't heal with him. Oh, gosh. Come on. Thank you. Okay, so we are so close. I feel like I have to continue. Uh, we got we get both of their trinkets back when we defeat the group that we lost a member in. So that's why we got two trinkets there. Okay, we are so close. I feel like I have to press on. Probably shouldn't be taking chances like that. All right, let's see. Please be empty. Please be empty. It is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we almost are there. We are almost there, my friends. What do you scout? <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh my. Oh, yes. We are victorious. The torchless run. Two of them today. Flaw well, not flawless victory, but once more. We lose a couple people. It's not a huge deal. It's not a huge deal. So let's see how much we came out with that. We got a couple of diamonds, which are a thousand each. Beautiful. 6,600 there. Not too much, but you know. I'll take it. Thank you for watching our Darkest Dungeon playthrough. Uh, we're going to keep on going. It's really good now that we're completing some missions. Because we've got some people leveled up. So now that I've got these guys leveled up, I can start investing in their armor. I can start investing in their skills. So I can level his skills up to two. I can level her stuff up. And actually, I'm going to give her... We need want to give her breakthrough as well. So this is, the, this is basically what we're saving our monies for here. Um, I'm going to just rearrange these things. So these guys... So this is what this is why we're going for trying to maximize our profits because we want to be able to afford skill ups and we want to be able to afford leveling up our armors as well. These are the the most vital of things um, to sort of do what we're trying to do. Basically, we're gonna get battle ballad because our final makeup is gonna be these these four skills. In fact, do we have? Yeah, we've got him with that stuff. I don't really need to level up that because we're basically just gonna be using the jester for the battle ballad. Uh, when push comes to shove. And uh, who do we have? Anyone new that we want? Yes, we do have the Hellion, which is good. That's excellent. And let me see if I can actually get any of this stuff right now. Can I? Yes, I can. I can afford this right now. And I think we will go with uh, leveled up weapons first and foremost. So let's go like that. And now we can afford, because we've been saving up our money. This is why, again, this is the reason behind it. We can afford to level up our weapons which helps us tremendously. Weapons and armor, try to be on top of keeping those up and this stuff's gonna work. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, we'll be more doing more Darkest Dungeon going forward. So also, sorry, people keep bringing this up in the episodes. I'm well aware that the cursor is not visible. Uh, this is a problem exclusive to this game. I've never had this problem before in other games. Uh, there is recording options to hide the uh, mouse cursor, but that is not what I have here. It is just literally not showing up. I have no idea why but it is not showing up. I've tried it full screen, I've tried it borderless windowed, I've tried it non-borderless windowed, nothing is working. So it's just maybe an interact, it's obviously an interaction between uh, this particular software and the type of recording that I'm doing um, that's just making the mouse cursor not visible. But again, I've, I, in the five years that I've been doing YouTube, I've never ran into this problem. So I don't exactly know how to solve it. Uh, if I find a fix though, I will do it because it'd be nice for you to see that. All right, thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned, more Darkest Dungeon coming up. Keep watching and keep owning.